Hi guys, welcome back to County Line Farming. In today's video, we will be taking a closer look at our brand new John Deere Gator. So mom and dad purchased this gator the end of last year, custom ordered it, brand new, and uh, just got here today. About a half an hour on it when it showed up, so it's uh, brand new. Traded in our other John Deere gator, just a little bit smaller than this one, about 13 years old, with 1900 hours on it. And the front end was pretty well shot on the gator, so decided to trade it in and uh, get an upgrade for it. We have owned it for 13 years now and replace the front two tires twice now back ones are original we'll hit the road with this yeah. so we'll go over differences this the uh, other gator did not have this on it a little safety thing you can probably end up taking that off actually coming into the gator here key to start it up is right here you have a dash it lights up you got fuel temperature how fast you're going and your rpms all right there and how many hours is that 1.1 right now gear shift levers right here brake and uh, gas are very similar to the other one has an adjustable steering wheel the other one also had a tilt bed nice thing about these gators it has a tilt bed some of the other uh, competitors do not have that you just have to have your key on to run that it's a hydraulic cylinder in the back Turn that off. I guess we'll see what some of this stuff up here does. Maybe. It's a little bit loose and concerning. B60, 80, grip, hours. So I guess it has 0.4 hours right now. So. so our other gators had two lights in the front. The newer gators now have LED lights up top also to turn your front two on are right here your top two leds are right here lots of compartments for different things the reason they hadn't brought it any earlier they were waiting on a windshield but dad said just to bring it we can put the windshield in when it gets here and uh so we ended up doing it that way little compartment here to put stuff so there's plenty of room to put stuff got all kinds of cup holders up there uh we always have them last gator we also had a bench seat in it that way you can have three people up here nice and spacious plenty of room up here probably a little bit more room than the, than the last one did uh the other one did have this metal railing going around right here but it still has it going around the bed over here just uh that way if you bump into something it doesn't completely destroy your bed the fuel was right here on the other one. It's just right here instead, just a little bit farther back. Really easy to open and shut. Fuel should work. The other one, the gauge didn't work very long, so hopefully it'll work now. The engine in this Gator is a John Deere DOHC 12 valve inline three cylinder engine in here. So this Gator has a little bit more room to uh, get around and look at stuff. I've noticed that to uh, work on stuff compared to the other ones. So, glad to see that. <clears throat> Flip your seats up. I'm not sure if this side, probably just your bench comes off down there. So, there's three seat belts in this one. The other one just always had two. So as you can see, there's plenty of room up here in the front. The other one was a little bit more packed in, but there's plenty of room to get in here you gotta ever do something to it up here since the engine is on the back side of these units there's uh, more space in the front so the tread pattern are a little bit different on these newer tires now 
Uh, they're not like a tractor tread, I guess you could say. But that's how all the new gators are. So the, our other gator, all the, the, the pins up here and all the bushings were basically shot on the other one. And especially this tire, it wasn't even sitting square. You could, couldn't go over about 20 anywhere. Otherwise the whole steering column and everything would start shaking. Because 1900 hours for uh, gator is quite a few hours, especially when it's getting run good and hard. Check your oil, looks like it's right here. Air filters, nice and easy access. These tailgates, I think the other one also had this. There's a measuring big yardstick, I guess you could say, on the tailgate. Um, no bed liner, just a really good bed, I guess. The other one had a little plastic piece, but same bed, basically the same, just a couple small differences uh, since it has been 12, 13 years now since we bought that other one brand new. So if we keep this one for probably 10, 11 years, we probably put about the same amount of hours on as we did that other one since we will probably use it maybe a little more in, than the other one. Um, your belt's right in here that drives the whole unit. Another little compartment down here and a 12 volt outlet to plug in. Seat on the passenger side, adjustable front and back and as you go forward it also goes down i know the rangers don't go down they just go forward so that's nice also goes towards the ground if there's a shorter person driving and then you can put it back so good handlebar right here to hold on to so on the old gator the gear shift lever was down here reverse neutral high and then low was almost all the way down and then your diff lock was over here now your diff lock is right here a little switch four wheel drives right here four wheel drive was always up on the dash and uh gear shift levers up here a little bit easier because if you have a third person in the seat it was kind of right in between their legs and they always had to almost shift for you it's kind of in a weird position down there and also there's more leg room now down there towards the bottom so what we typically do with this gator is twice a day right now we're taking hay up to the big barn but typically we're only putting pellets up there but so say we're putting two three flakes of a big square bale in the back and then we'll probably put anywhere from four to eight buckets of pellets in the back and we'll take it up to the big barn to feed the calves twice a day and then we're also dropping off pellets at two breeding pens in the morning for the breeders to lock them in midway through the day Summertime, especially when we're planting spring and fall, we're using it uh, multiple hours of the day, picking rocks up. And I know the other one, when this bed was down, there's usually about three to four inches. Well, the suspension, we would have this thing rounded right up and the tire would be dragging up here almost, ripping the mud off the top because we had so many rocks in it. So you can definitely load these things down. You know, hydraulic cylinder almost all the time would lift it up. It would struggle a little bit, but it would still get you up and over. There's a couple times you couldn't get it, but for the most part, it did pretty good. So that's basically all we do with it. We don't run it on the road nearly at all, just from field to field when we're picking rocks up once in a while, but we're not going down the road with it. So that's another reason why the last 2000 hours. The other gator also, it, uh, just driving down the road for five minutes, it would get really warm. In the summertime, it was just shut off and you couldn't get it started again. So the engine was kind of going and we got our money out of it. If you pull these two pins out here, this bumper will come up to about right here. That way you can open the hood up farther if you need to. This bumper sticks out a good ways. It's got a little plastic piece. So if for some reason something metal hits that, it doesn't scrape the paint off. It just hits that plastic. It's a good idea on there. So these tires run about 14 psi i'm not sure if these ones run the same i know the other ones ran about 14 um i'm pretty sure they're the same exact tire just uh good tread the tires on the back were original on our old ones and the tires on the front the one had been replaced twice and the other one had been replaced once so both tires on the front when we traded in were almost new but that was about the only thing we didn't do a whole lot other than that to them nothing major so underneath they got some good skid plates you can get these hung up on snow um, once in a while 
you gotta watch you don't get in some hard packed snow but that's typical for any atv so you got good skid plates that way nothing gets up in there where it shouldn't be and there's different uh no 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 they still got they might have sealed bearings on some of these bearings they probably don't have as many grease points anymore but there's still a couple i'm sure so the design's a little bit different also on these it's kind of like the new tractors design since they all typically run together so kind of a new style hood's uh probably a third bigger i'd say the whole whole gator in general is probably maybe a fifth bigger than the older one just also because it's a little bit bigger so pretty sure they just make two sizes this one is a little bit more reliable for what we're going to be using it for so that's why I went with this one so like i said we purchased this in december and uh it had to get made before it showed up so that's why it's just now showing up see how it runs and uh we'll let you know if there's any bad but it shouldn't be not much room down here i think the other one might have had a little bit more room but it's not gonna ever touch so i'm not really worried about that tiles will wear down and it's not gonna touch down there so tailgates the same opens and shuts good so any questions about it leave them in the comments and uh a little bit different video since we got some new equipment we have three more pieces of machinery that's supposed to be showing up uh uh, tractor and two implements so stay tuned for that these lights up here for sure will be uh nice to have be able to see a little bit better because i know the lights just these down here even though these are going to be brighter than the old ones weren't anything to brag about light wise you know 15 years ago lighting wasn't the best leds wasn't a big thing back then probably especially as much as it is now so we'll get that windshield in here and uh it'll be uh ready to go so a couple more specs on the John Deere Gator. It has around 54 horsepower and also goes between 53 and 55 miles an hour um, as a max speed. Stay tuned. Uh, next couple videos will have some new equipment and uh, some super nice weather in the forecast. So we're going to be busy hauling manure and fixing different things around the farm. So I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this new Gator. And there will be the next video will be a... Uh, new implement so hope you enjoy that also and if you guys want to see day-to-day -day stuff uh, check out the instagram at county line farming hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, stay tuned got about a month and a half and we'll probably be uh planting hopefully and uh first day that it is warmer outside than it is in the house so super nice out we're gonna get some rain tomorrow just when it starts drying up usually how it goes in the month of april Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.